Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Thanks for being here today. We're going to be focusing in on flexibility practice designed to increase your overall mobility as you move through your day. This will also help with everything you do, including any additional strength building practices you might have subsequently. So let's come on up to the top edge of our mat for Sama Sitihi, equal standing. Relaxing into the shoulders, lifting up into your core. We're gonna take a few cycles of sun salutations from here. Inhale the arms open to the sky, let's look up at the thumbs. Exhale, open the arms, swan dive into the legs with the head relax. On in inhale, let's lift the chest up and forward. And fold on your exhale, we're gonna sweep the left leg to the sky and use that to step back to a low lunge. Take a nice inhale, lift the chest up, and exhale, step back to your plank. Inhale, let's lean into the fingertips, maybe drop your knees, and exhale, lower all the way down, everything landing at once. So we're gonna find our way into Sphinx Pose, elbows underneath the shoulders. Let's point to the toes and lift the kneecaps away from the floor, chest up and forward. Take a breath in to lift a little more, and on breath out, chin to left shoulder. Inhale, lift back up to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, chin to left shoulder. We're gonna do one more cycle. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, chin to the right. Inhale, back up to center, shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower down, hands under shoulders. Come on up to table pose. We'll take a few cycles of cat and cow. Inhale, tail and chest up. Exhale, round into the spine. Pull the belly in, just connect. Inhale, open across the chest, lift up. Exhale, round into the upper back, look down. One more time, inhale, open up. And exhale, round in, flip over those toes. Downward dog, let's lift it up. Paddling out your dog, just bending into one knee, turning the torso away. And back to center, other side. And back to center, we'll inhale, heels up. Exhale, look forward, easy step up to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway forward. Exhale, fold into the legs. Inhale, look forward, open the arms to reach all the way up to the sky. Let's fold forward, breath out, hinging into the hips. Inhale, lift halfway forward. Exhale, folding, we'll sweep the right leg up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step it back, here's that low lunge. Just finding a nice breath in to lift the chest. And on breath out, we'll step back to your plank pose. Maybe dropping the knees once again. Inhale, leaning forward, find your core. And exhale, landing everything at once. And we'll take a little cobra flow to get into the upper back, so we'll walk the fingertips to the outer edges of your mat. Inhale, shoulder blades together to lift up. Exhale, reach the chest forward to lower down. Let's do it again. Inhale, shoulder blades squeeze to lift. Exhale, reach forward to drop. Let's take a couple more. Inhale, curl on up, pull the chest forward. Exhale, reach forward to lower. Let's take two more. Inhale, curl on up. Exhale, reach forward to drop. One more time. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, lower on down. Hands under shoulders, table or plank. Just take a breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Feel free to walk your feet forward a notch. We're gonna bend the knees, drop the hips and heels to the right. Back through center, hips and heels to the left. And back to center, picking up the heels, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and look forward. Walk up easy to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway forward. Exhale, fold forward. Come back up to stand, open the arms and sweep. Inhale to lift up. And exhale, let's fold into the legs. Let's do that cycle again. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold left leg high. So breath in to lift. And breath out, step it back. Here's that low lunge again. Let's add on. Right arm up to the sky. Take a breath in. And breath out, take the hands down, step back to plank, knees to the floor. Inhale, lean forward, chest forward. Exhale, everything to the ground at once. Cobra flow, we'll twist with it. Inhale, shoulder blades together to lift. Exhale, drop on into a twist, left side. Inhale, come back up. 
Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale to the left once again. Inhale, come back up. And exhale to the right. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, lower to the floor. Table or plank, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, look forward. You can hop up or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway forward. Exhale, fold forward. Come back up to stand. Inhale, the arms open to the sky. Reach up. Exhale, let's fold back into the legs. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold to the right leg high. Inhale to lift. Exhale, step it back. Find that lunge and we'll add on the left arm high. Nice inhale to find a nice lift. Exhale, take the hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Just get into the upper back and move into your downward dog. Exhale, hips to the sky. Let's inhale the right leg up. We'll exhale, open the hip, bend the knee. You can gaze to the right, isolating the front right hip. And we'll inhale, kick that leg up. Exhale, step forward. We'll find a way to warrior one. So ground that back heel and lift. Nice inhale to lift up. And exhale, bind the hands behind your low back. Inhale, pick up the chest nice and tall. Exhale, humble warrior, folding to the inner front leg. And inhale, let's come all the way back up. Arms to the sky to sweep. And exhale, hands to the ground. Step on back to your plank. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, upward dog to lift. Exhale, downward dog to connect. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, we'll open the hip, bend the knee, isolating that front left hip, really finding a nice, healthy stretch. Inhale, kick that leg back up. Exhale, step on forward, warrior one. Just take your time. Inhale to come on up. And exhale, bind hands behind your back. Inhale, open the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, fold to the inner front leg. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms reaching for the sky. And exhale, hands to the ground. Step on back to your plank. Good, so from this plank pose, we're gonna drop the knees and head into a puppy pose to stretch the upper back, stretch the shoulders. Walking the arms forward, you can grab a hold of the front edge of your mat and just dropping down the chest toward the ground. Well, let's be here for five cycles of breath. Five. Four. Try to externally rotate your shoulders here. Three, bring your chest a little closer to the ground. Two. And on one, tuck your tail under. Come back forward to your Sphinx pose. We'll drop those hips to the floor. Lifting into Sphinx. We're gonna take a half bow pose. So take your right forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat, grabbing a hold of your back leg. First, we're gonna pull the foot in toward the outer left hip. Turn the chest and gaze forward. Let's be here for five, four, three, two. On one, we're gonna simply release this, but kick the foot back instead. Open up the shoulder, open up the front left hip for five. Keep that right leg pointed. Four, chest up and forward. Three, two, and one. Come on down. Let's switch it out. Left forearm parallel to the front of the mat, taking a hold of the right foot behind you, pulling it into the outer right hip. It does not have to be a lot to find that benefit. Just lengthen that right leg back for five, four, three, two. Make sure you're breathing. And one, let's release the pull, and instead we'll kick the leg back, lift the chest a little taller for five. Four, tuck your tail under. Three, lift the leg a little taller. Two, and one, drop it down. Release, hands under shoulders. Come on up to your table, and we're gonna take a quarter turn to the left or to the right and head into a frog pose. So frog pose has the inner knees, the inner ankles, inner shins on the floor. 
separating the knees out and dropping onto the forearms. Let's just take a gentle rock up and down with the pelvis. Let's be here for five, four, three, two, one, tilt the tailbone up with the chest up and forward. Let's be here for five. Now we're trying to breathe with this count. Let it open. Four, three, sit back a little bit deeper. Two, and one. Let's walk the hands underneath your shoulders. Come on up to straight arms. Slowly wiggle those legs together and we'll step into a wide leg forward fold with the feet parallel. Hands to the floor, take a nice inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, fold forward, bring the crown of the head as close to the ground as you can get it, leaning into it for five, four, engage those legs, three, two, one, inhale, look forward, exhale, hands to the hips, inhale, come on up, Listen, exhale, we're gonna square the hips and face the left leg. So we'll take the right foot, walk it over to the right, and we're gonna grab a hold of either elbows behind the back or reverse prayer hands behind the back, okay? If you're going reverse prayer hands, just take your time, make sure your wrists feel safe. Take a nice inhale, open the chest, and exhale, fold into that left leg. Chin toward the shin here for five. Lift those elbows wherever you're at. Four, lengthen into your chest. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come all the way up, little back bend at the top. Exhale, turn and face the other side. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold into the right leg, chin toward the shin. And again for five, four, three, Two, and one, inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, quarter turn to the left, we'll parallel those feet, open the arms, and we'll give the wrists a stretch, so pointing the fingertips down, push out through the outer wrists. Good, so take a nice inhale just to open up, and exhale, let's release, hands to the hips, let's walk the feet back in, so we're going to go into figure four, okay, opening up, external rotation for the hips, picking up the right ankle, crossing it over the left knee. Let's go ahead, bring the palms in, pull the belly in, and take a little squat, leaning forward into the fronts of your foot. For five, four, keep that lifted foot flexed, three, two, and one, inhale, come up, knee to chest, and then exhale, bring it down, rock it out, we'll go to the other side. Picking up left ankle, crossing it over right knee. Take a breath in and breath out. Take a squat, leaning forward as your sit bones reach back. For five, four, three. Make sure you're smiling. Two, smiling helps the hips open. And one, come on up. Take a breath in, knee up. And exhale, bring it down, rock it out. We're gonna take a chair twist and leaning into one side and then the other to really open up across your rib cage, okay? So stepping your feet in, big toes can connect. Sitting back into chair pose, so find your foundation into Utkatasana first. Take a nice inhale to sit back. Then on exhale, let's lean into it. Take that left elbow across the right knee. Spinning the chest open, really push into the heels and lift the heart up. Five. Four, this is technically a strength pose. Three, but I really want you to get into the mobility of the rib cage. Two, and a one, inhale, come up and out. You can straighten the legs, push from your heels. Take a nice breath in, and breath out back to chair pose. Palms together, we're gonna twist to the other side. So inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, lean in and twist to your left. Crossing that elbow past the knee, rolling it all open for five. Four, really practice sitting back, lift the chest a little more. Three, find that rotation, that's the more important piece. Two, and one, look down, push from the heels, 
Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, let's fold forward into the legs. So we're going to find a really brief yogi hang. So finding this what we call ragdoll, opening the feet out hips width. We'll grab elbows and go ahead and just sway side to side. Feel free to bend your knees as needed. And then from here, let's take the hands back to the shins, toe wiggle, uh, ball toe the foot back in together, and we'll inhale, lift halfway up, and exhale, fold forward. Taking the hands to the ground, let's just go ahead and take a seat. So opening up the hips, we're going to take this Sukhasana. So Sukhasana is technically a crisscross shape, except the knees are a little further away from each other and the shin bones want to be parallel. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can stack the shins as in double pigeon. Nice, inhale to sit up tall and on exhale, we're going to fold forward into the legs, keeping the chest lifted, try to pull the belly in for support. Let the external rotation happen in the hip. Let's be here for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna walk the hands over to one side, pull the chest forward for five. So let the hips recede. Four, let the rib cage recede. Three, two, and a one, back to center, inhale. Exhale, other side for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, we're simply going to switch which leg is on top. Again, in Sukhasana, we open the knees away from each other. If you're in double pigeon, just stacking the shin, so one foot over the knee, one knee over the foot. Okay. Nice breath in to sit up tall, and breath out folding in, just letting the chest lift towards your horizon as the thighs externally rotate. For five, four, three, two, one, walk the hands on over to one side for five, really get the chest to lift. Four, three, two, one, back to center, breath in, breath out other side for five, really lift the heart. Four, ask the hips to receive. Three, two, and one, come back to center, inhale, come on up, and exhale, we're gonna release, we're lowering onto our back, we'll take bridge pose, then a full wheel pose. If wheel pose is not in your practice, please stick with bridge pose times two. So we'll walk the heels up toward our bum, fingertips can graze the heels, pushing down to lift the hips up, maybe interlacing the fingers underneath your back. Let's be here for five. Four, three, two, last inhale on one, exhale lower down, setting up for round two, make sure you're pushing into the big toes, pushing into the heels. If you're going to full wheel, you can situate the hands by your ears, and going ahead, let's push down, and we'll press on up. Here we go for five. Four, just do what you can here. Three, try to access your upper back. Two, inhale, lift on one, and exhale, curl down nice and slow. We'll bring the legs in toward the chest. A little bit of a happy baby here. You can straddle up the legs. You can bend the knees, keep the feet lifted. A little bit of rocking side to side into the sacrum. And bring the knees together, supine twist, dropping the legs over to one side. Just letting gravity assist. And make the way back to center and over to the other side with those legs.
be slowing down the breath, noticing how the body feels. And making your way back to center, maybe a little hug back in. You can take a Shavasana from here, or you can come on up to a seat and maybe find a little meditation. Wherever you're at, I hope your body feels a lot better from here. And please use this practice as a means to accommodate everything else that you're doing. Thanks everyone so much for being here. Namaste.